All right, so I'm out here Thursday night in the garden, um, just finishing up my dinner. I clipped some herbs, fresh herbs for my pasta, and I was really excited. Finished that up, just getting ready to start binge watching The Circle on Netflix because I hate myself. Um, and then I looked at the weather report for tomorrow, and it's supposed to be strong thunderstorms and potential like high winds. I got my tomatoes all caged up behind me here but I do not have my peppers done so I'm gonna spend the time out here doing my peppers with the Florida we've been finishing what I started like two weeks ago so I'm gonna get that done tonight hopefully and hopefully everything survives tomorrow guess we'll find out all right I finished up there weaved it's not great there was a moment where I thought it might be more humane to let them die in the wind than smash them with this Florida weave, but we managed. It was very hard. I'm not flexible and that back row is really far, but I did it. I don't want to die now, but hopefully my peppers don't, so it's all good. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys what it looks like at night. Uh, we have little solar lights on the sides. And it's really kind of really pretty out here. And I wish I could hang out, but I'm a bug magnet, so the mosquitoes love me and usually chase me back inside. But it's really pretty out here at night. I'm out here in the garden. It's Saturday morning. I came to check on everything after that super crazy storm that we were supposed to get um, and as you can see everything's fine everything survived because uh, it, it's just now starting to rain like it didn't even storm last night it was nothing and it's literally 8 15 in the morning and just now starting to sprinkle so all that work I did the other day in the dark killing myself to get all this done well I guess it's a good thing it's done but not really needed so thanks Ohio weather you do this to me all the time I love storms and I get really excited when there's something coming and it always lets me down so today is no exception I'm out here on my break and checking on these potatoes because these guys just huge and flowering and looking like they're going to flower soon and then this guy just not doing anything so finally just dug around in there there's not any any single leaf that's even growing so this one definitely didn't work um, I did leave them a little too long to cure they kind of didn't really sprout very well and they got kind of I cut the moldy pieces off but they did get moldy so pretty sure they just rotted in here uh, so we're just gonna just gonna call that one. We have two reds and one Yukon gold. Not two, but that's okay. That's all right. This will be this will be plenty of potatoes, I'm sure. So we'll just try again later. All right. So I harvested up most of the radishes that I planted first. Uh, I did leave a couple because it looks like kind of looking like they could bulb. I don't know. I'm gonna give them a shot, but these guys I planted later, so I'm gonna see if they grow at all. But I'll show you what I got here. Most of them definitely didn't do much. They all didn't bulb. They just leafed. So I know that I sowed them way too late. It got hot. Um, I probably didn't have enough loose soil in there. They were pretty packed in um, when I was trying to get them out. That seemed almost kind of difficult. They didn't pop up real easily. So that's a problem. But I did get these guys that almost look like they're radishes. So yay. All right, well, radishes, kind of a bust for this time. But hopefully next time. And I also think I'm going to pull some of these broccoli, these back too. Um, I harvested off the, 
the main stem and they look like they're doing just tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny little side shoots, but I don't think they're gonna have anything that's really worth it. Um, this guy's got some side shoots, so I'll leave him because they look like they're actually growing pretty well. And this one still has its main stem and like one tiny side shoot. So I think I'm gonna leave these two in the front, pull those two in the back, because I really wanna get my melons in there. I've got my sugar baby. Uh, and my ambrosia melon that I need to plant in there, get them out of their their seedling cups. Um, so yeah, I think that's gonna happen today. It's supposed to be really cool and not like 90 degrees. So that's probably gonna be the plan for today. And maybe clean up that parsley because it looks sad. Also, while I was out here, I decided going to go ahead and plant these melons because they've been in their little like starter pots for way too long. So I planted this guy. He is an ambrosia. He's definitely needing to be transplanted for probably a very long time. He had blossoms all over so he was ready. And then over here I took out one of my broccoli plants and took this guy. Um, he had some really tiny little side shoots but not enough to really warrant keeping him there for very long so i just pulled him and i planted my sugar baby which is also starting to blossom and hopefully we'll get some cute little sugar baby watermelons because i really love watermelons i'm excited about that so that's what we did out here today just looked outside and there is a big fat squirrel on top of my garden. I think he's eating the bird seed. I hope he's eating the bird seed and not my plants. Are we about to start a war, Mr. Squirrel? I'm watching you. Yeah, guys, out here this morning doing a Monday morning garden walk. Uh, hope you can hear me because it's really windy. Uh, it's hopefully supposed to storm later because definitely didn't when it said that it was going to last week. Did not. Doors blowing open. Uh, did not storm at all. Barely rained. Um, so my plants need to be watered. And I keep getting teased by potential storm and then no storm. So I don't water thinking I'm going to overwater it and now it's not watered at all. So hopefully it rains today. Um, but I just wanted to take through and see, got some things going on, got some things growing, um, and I wanna show you what's happening. So let's take a look. So our tomatoes are taking off. I just counted and there are, between all of the plants so far, 29 little tiny baby tomatoes. Uh, all of them so far, Romas and San Marzano's. We don't have any of the Cherokee purples yet because it's not putting out any blooms, but got some little tiny tomatoes coming. So I'm excited. Our marigolds are looking good except for the one that I uh, had the little caterpillar moth thing on and I kind of just chucked it aside not knowing what to do with it and then the marigold died um, so I'm kind of just waiting for that one last bloom to die off and then I'm gonna pick it to do and that one too um, for seeds and then just pull that because I definitely messed that up um, zinnias hopefully getting flowers eventually they're getting tall still not doing anything sacrificial weed still doing its thing and then our peas were a mess uh, so I finally figured out to oh the door is slamming shut on me now uh, oh god I don't know if you can hear me at all it's a terrible idea to do this in the wind anyway so the peas uh, I had to actually tie some of the stems to the lattice behind it so that they would go up. But look, we have our very first pea 
blossom and it's so pretty. I'm really excited about that. Um, so maybe, maybe we'll have peas and this tangled mess has been a total waste. So radishes, this is the second half of the radishes that I had sown, still doing their thing. Carrots, a couple carrots that look like they're actually somewhat decent. I'm gonna have to pull this spinach soon. I already cut off a bunch of it, but yeah, it's definitely got the bolt look to it, so that's all gonna go soon. And then we've got our peppers that are doing well. This guy over here is just throwing out jalapenos all over the place. I think we have one more plant that's got a couple Oh, I can figure out how to do that. There we go. Got a couple more jalapenos coming. Everybody else has uh, got blossoms, but nothing forming yet. Um, these are our red bells. I think there's a little blossom forming in there. These zinnias aren't doing as much as the others. I don't know if they just don't get as much sun. We've got our broccoli we need to get the rest of. A little sugar baby watermelon back there that we've planted. This is our ambrosia. It's got some blooms on it. And then we have our first blossom on our Yukon bowl. seem to be coming back and there was a blossom in there if you can see it without the wind blowing it might actually have a strawberry I picked up all the blossoms before to kind of give it time to establish I think I might just let that one go and see if I can get one to grow at all um, just to see we have one strawberry this year oh right, here comes the wind again all right I might have to call this. It's, it's a little too windy out here. You probably are not going to hear me at all. So let's go back inside. Hey guys, out here in the garden today. It is Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Uh, another day I had to go into the office. So just now checking out the garden here at night. Um, so I see some really cool things going on behind me and my tomatoes. Uh, I'm signing here in my peas, so I'm excited. Let me show you. Check out all of those aromas. They are loaded down on that plant. There's even more down there at the bottom. And then, I don't know, I still don't think there's anything on there. But we've got San Marzano's. More San Marzano's. Something weird going on with that one. And then there's more Romas back in there. So we've got a lot of tomatoes coming and a very dead marigold. And then over here on the peas We've got blossoms. I'm really excited. I actually had no idea that these were like pink and purple. So that's really cool. Excited to see those today. Okay, two things about this. This is my rain gauge. And over probably the past week, it has been forecasted to storm heavily rain heavily, storm again, rain again. There is not a single drop of rain in that rain gauge because it's all lies. There are, however, two Japanese beetles that I somehow caught and they can't get out. Are Japanese beetles bad? I feel like they're bad. I gotta figure that out too. Never ending with the bugs. I hate bugs. 
God, this is dumb. And I think there's something crawling on me. Hey, buddy. I don't think I want you on my strawberry plant because it looks like you've been eating it. So, may have to remove you. So, I had my corn here in the window where it was nice and sunny, and I'm out here in the sunroom today, and the cat wanted to come out, so I cleared off the table and moved my corn over to this chair over here by the window so that he wouldn't eat it. Apparently I was not paying much attention because he was over here snacking on the tops of all of these guys, snapped that guy over, ate that one, chewed on that one, and that one, oh in that one so my corn plants that were doing so incredibly well and I was so excited about have been decimated by the damn cat again I think I would learn not to leave my plants outside with the cat but apparently we don't learn lessons do we no, we don't. Because I didn't learn my damn lesson, I left these here while we've been sitting out, and the cat, paw prints in it, and I, he literally just ran by with this one in his mouth. Oh my god. Luckily this was like three days to Germany, and like this is five days worth of growth, so not, not a lot of time lost, but god damn cat, seriously. Hey, do you feel bad about what you've done? Do you feel bad about it? No, nope, didn't think so. Stop eating my corn, please. Sitting in the sunroom, eating my dinner. I didn't realize we have a visitor. And this is the reason we have walls in our garden. Hey guys, it is Friday evening and I'm out here checking on the garden after work because I feel like I have not been out here at all, all week. Um, I was sick on Monday, I didn't go in. Um, I was in the office Tuesday and Wednesday. I was home yesterday, um, so I did get to come out here a little bit, but I just feel like I haven't been out here this week because I just haven't been home and that sucks. I don't like that at all. Um, I'm also not the person that can do like the morning garden walk before work because I am <laughs> notorious for barely making it to work on time. Um, I work at like 8.45. I will leave my house at like 8.30 if that. Sometimes like 8.35. <laughs> Luckily I only live like 10 minutes from work so it's not too bad. I usually roll in there like right on time but definitely no time to like check the garden now before I go so let's see what we've got going on today see if anything's grown so one thing that I noticed the other day are the peas finally blooming and I honestly had no idea they were this color like I don't know why I don't know what color I thought these were gonna be I cannot get that focus for some reason I don't know, but they're all this really pretty pink and kind of purple mauve color. And then I did notice that is my very first pea pod. 
So I'm really excited about that. This is not going to focus at all. Ugh, it's just focusing on the disgusting burrs of, up against our fence, so I apologize. But it's a pea. Probably can only half see that. But we've got our very first pea. So really excited about that. I noticed this the other day and it's just gotten, I think, worse. Um, so this is my ambrosia melon that I planted. And I kind of saw the end. These all look a little withered. The flowers are starting to wither. And then I noticed this. I don't know what I did. I don't know if I broke the stem. If something else is in it. Sorry, I was coloring today at work because it was that kind of day. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure what I did to that or if something else did that. So I don't know how to fix that. If, do I cut it off? It doesn't, it doesn't really seem like there's a bug in there. It looks like it actually just kind of broke in half. But it definitely, definitely took out the rest of that vine. So to figure out how to fix that and whether it'll continue to grow different vines if I trim it off. My strawberries have more than one bloom on them now. There's that guy, and there's that guy, and another one coming, and another one down there. I'm just gonna let these guys go. I think one of them, I think that guy, kind of shriveled up a little bit after he lost his flowers. I don't know if they're actually going to make strawberries, but I'll go let them go, see what they do. Check out this pepper situation on this plant. We've got three that are pretty good size already. And one more looks like he's coming. Oops, there. So jalapeno is definitely a thing. I think we've got a couple, I don't know where, where is my camera? There we go. Got a couple on this plant. Got a couple hanging out here. So jalapenos are definitely taken up. And we've got a holy mole pepper too. And the start of a poblano. So peppers are happening, guys. I better hurry on this, it's getting dark, like loud-wise. I don't know if that was thunder or if that was a firework or a gunshot. I have no idea what just happened. Uh, but I'm gonna go get through this really quickly and go inside before I get rained on or possibly shot. I don't know. The zinnias are starting to get big. And I noticed this guy, if I can get in here, has what looks like a little bit of a bloom coming. Might have our first zinnia soon. And we are definitely having a tomato party. We've got San Marzano's. San Marzano's. A whole bunch of Romas. A whole bunch more Romas. Some more San Marzano's. Some more San Marzano's. Still no Cherokee purple. But that's okay. Because there are tomatoes happening. And I definitely did not harvest my side shoots of broccoli very quickly. Are they still good? I don't know. I might let that one just go to seed. And maybe that one. This guy back here looks okay though. Alright, I think that's pretty much everything going on in the garden. <sighs> I just saw behind me. That light is crooked because I put it on wrong like when I dropped in the nails to put it up and it bothers the fuck out of me that it's crooked and I can't get back there to fix it because every time I do it falls off. It's really killing me that that was crooked like that. Um, anyway, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna turn so I can't see that anymore. Um, yeah, I think that's everything going on in the garden this week. So thanks for watching and we'll catch up and hopefully get to show you some really cool things next week when everything gets really big. I don't know. I have no idea what to expect anymore. This is all new to me. So 
Oh, low battery. Okay. Yeah. Not good at this. I think I'll figure this out eventually, but today's not that day.